Hello everyone, I am Nehal from WS Cube Tech and uh, in the previous video we had talked about the introduction to the pandas library and we even saw that there are two data structures supported by in pandas uh, library. So it was the series and the data frame. So in this video we will talk about the series and in the next video we will talk about the data frames. So talking about the series over here. So what I will simply do is I will just import my uh, packages. So I'm just going to say import and uh, numpy as np and import pandas as pd. So these are the allies name I have given and as we have discussed uh, uh, as we have discussed in the uh, last video that uh, this pandas is on top of this numpy library all right. So in order to just use this pandas you need to make sure that you use this numpy all right. So I have imported my uh, packages over here. Now we will just see that uh, what are the different ways by which you can just create your series. So the first step over here is what I will simply do is I will just create a list over here. So say I have this uh, list one over here. Uh, variable and inside this I will just pass some uh, values. So I will just say 10, 20, 30. All right. And if I just print this thing, so this list will get printed over here. So this uh, list has got got printed over here. All right. Now what I want to do is uh, uh, first I will just uh, uh, let you guys uh, know what is the syntax for series. So what I will simply do is I will just say that pd dot and series is uh, the s is caps lock okay capital letter so i'm just going to see a uh, series and i will just put this inside my help okay this is help uh, this help method so that we will just get the uh, syntax of this thing and if i just scroll it up over here so you can see this uh, this is our syntax all right so it simply says that the series, the data is equal to none, index is equal to none, D type, then name, copy, uh, fast path and all, okay. So this is nothing but this is our uh, syntax over here, okay. So we'll just focus on this data and index, which is the quite important one, okay. So we have this data and this index, all right. So what I'm just going to do over here is, I will just clear this thing and what I will simply do I will just say pd dot series and inside this I will just say data is equal to and I will just pass as list all right so uh, first I'm just uh, showing you the data all right I'm not going with the index so I will just put this inside a variable name so say if I say ser okay and I will just print this thing so I will just say print ser and if you if I just run over here so you can see this is my series all right so this is the simple series which i have created okay and you can see over here so this 0 1 2 is nothing but it is the index all right and this 10 20 30 is the actual data all right so this is the actual data and this is the index over here all right so the thing that uh, okay so and this is the uh, uh, data type okay it is of int 64 so this is not this is nothing but this is my series all right so so first uh, method we have seen by uh, creating a list all right by passing the list over here in the series method all right the uh, next thing i want to tell you guys over here is that uh, as you can see this index okay so this is 0 1 2 so instead of this thing you can even give the index of your own all right so for that purpose what uh, we can do over here i can just separate it with a delimiter comma and inside this i will just pass index is equal to and I will just pass that in a list okay so I am just going to say that uh, let it be my a then b uh, this is a comma all right okay fine and let it be my c okay so I am having this three elements inside this and three index I am having and if I just run this once again so you can see that that 0 1 2 index which I was earlier having has been replaced by this uh, this label or you can just call it at index this is labeled index okay so this a b c are nothing but these are the index or the labels that we have given all right so this is the uh, thing that differentiates our numpy arrays with pandas okay so in the numpy arrays we were not able to change the index okay it was uh, 0 1 2 3 all right whereas by using the in pandas you can just uh, 
uh, change this labels as per your need. So I have just passed that index over here. So in series, you would be dealing with only this data and this index. All right. So this was all about. Okay. So this was the first uh, uh, way by which you can just create your series. All right. I will show you the second way. So the second way it tells that what you can simply do is you can create an array and then you can that pass that array into your series. So I will just clear this thing. Okay. And now I want to create an array. And in order to create an array, now we would be using this NumPy library. Okay. In the first uh, case, when we just were creating a list, there was no need of this NumPy library. But now, if you just want to create an array, you would be requiring this NumPy library. And that is the reason why I have imported that particular thing. So what I'm basically going to do is I'm just going to say NP dot and I can just create the uh, array by uh, any method okay so we have discussed already like what are the different uh, methods uh, via which you can just create this uh, numpy array so uh, you can just go to those tutorials and see that uh, what are the different ways all right so i'm just going to make use of this arrange method over here so what i'm simply going to do that i will give a range so i will just say that start with zero and go to six all right and this particular thing will give me a one dimensional array and from uh, it will just give me from zero to five Okay, I will just put this inside a variable name that is array is equal to, all right. And if you just want to see the element, so you can just say print ARR and this will just give me this array, all right. So this started from 0 and it went all the way to till 5. So this 0 is included, 6 is excluded, all right. So I will just clear this thing because I am not in need of this thing. And I want to create a series over here. So I am simply going to say PD dot a series as capital. And inside this, I will just say data is equal to and my data is nothing but it is ARR. All right. And I'm not giving the index uh, right now over here. Okay. And what I'm just going to do is I will put this inside a variable name and I will just print this thing. So, and if I just run over here, so you can see over here, I have got this series. Okay. By passing the array, I, this time I'm not using list i'm using arrays so you can see over here is that i got this 0 1 2 3 4 5 and this particular thing this uh, at the left side you can see so this is nothing but this is my index or you can call it as label okay now what if i just want to change this uh, uh, index so that i can do with the help of index so over here uh, as you can see over here that i am having from 0 to 5 okay so at that number of times i have to pass the index over here so i'll just give the index over here so, I will just say A, B and F, all right, and just closing braces. And if I just run over here, so you can see that uh, earlier it was 0, 1, 2, 3 and now I have changed my index, uh, this labels, all right. So, uh, the second way we have seen that by creating, uh, by passing the, by creating an array and then passing that array inside a series. So, this is the data and this is the index, all right. Fine. The third way is by creating a dictionary and just passing that uh, uh, dictionary into our series. So I'm going to uh, uh, clear this thing now. And what I will do is I will create a dictionary. So say D is equal to, and we know that in order to just create that dictionary, we make use of the curly braces. And over here, what I'm simply going to do is I will just say uh, this key and the value pair. Okay. So I'm just creating key value pair over here and we'll take one more key pa value pair that's it so this is my dictionary over here and uh, what i just want over here is now i want to create a series so i will just say pd dot series and inside this series i will just say data is equal to and i will just say d okay and i will just put this inside a variable name so that is uh, ser and i will just say print ser and now what it will do is it will automatically it will take this key and put it over here. Okay. So this 1, 2, 3 and 4 this numeric uh, numbers are nothing but my index over here. So it will just automatically put that in the index section and these are nothing but my actual data over here. So this 1, 2, 3, 4 is my actual data. Okay. So this one is the most uh, easiest way by which you can just create the series over here. All right. And uh, one more thing I want to tell you guys over here that it's not necessary that always you just mention this data is equal to, okay. You can just mention it this way also, okay. So you can just mention it as uh, 
series and this so by default it will be understood that this first uh, uh, value over year is nothing but it is the data and the next uh, value that you give over year is the index okay so just don't mess up with the ordering over there okay so it's not necessary that always you just specify that data is equal to an index is equal to you can just say that uh, give the variable name over year and uh, the index also you can just pass this after this uh, in not not in this case in this dictionary but in the earlier case you can just say separate it with the delimiter and you can pass it in a list format all right so these are some of the uh, this these were the three ways via which you can just uh, create your series over here so uh, talking about that uh, uh, first difference we have already seen uh, with the numpy and pandas that uh, in case of numpy we were not having this provision of changing the index value and the second dif uh, difference over here is you can see that this uh, particular this pandas can hold data type as string uh, also okay so here you can see this uh, one two three four is nothing but this is a string and it is holding this type of data type so it can hold uh, numeric data types too and it can even hold the string data types too so this just makes this pandas quite flexible to use it so the next thing that we will see over here is that now how you can just grab this uh, uh, elements over here so we, we're going to grab this elements by making use of this uh, labeled index right so uh, what I'm simply going to do is I'm just going to come up over here and I will just say now suppose I want to just grab this three over here. So I'm just going to say SER and inside the square bracket I will just pass that key or you can just say label. And if I just say that now print that this particular three uh, uh, this so it will just give you this THR double E. So one can easily just access this particular uh, data over here with the help of this index over here. Going on to next, what I will I, I want to let you guys know over here, I've just cleared this thing. I will just create uh, two series over here. So in order to create those series, I will just say that pd.series and inside this, I can just, uh, we have seen that different ways by which you can just create the series. And what I will simply do is, I will just say that uh, uh, let my data be as, uh, I will just pass the data and uh, the index here itself as a list. Okay, so I'm just going to say that one, two and three okay so this is my data and this is and here i'm just going to give the index so i'm just going to say a b and c that's it and i will just put this inside a variable name that is ser1 is equal to and i will create the another one so ser2 is equal to and i will just say pd dot series and i'm just going to pass the data and the index so i'm just going to say lag uh, three four five okay and i'm giving the index as uh, uh, I can just say that uh, this should be in a uh, quotation mark, all right. And over here, I'm just going to say that let it be my C, B, that's it. Okay, so I, I, I can just print this thing. So I'm just going to say SER1 and uh, SER2, okay. And if I just run over here, so you can see that I've got this two series over here. So this A, B, C are nothing but this is my label or index you can call. And this are the actual data, okay? So one, two, three is my actual data over here. And similarly, I am having this another series over here, and it is a uh, C D C B E I have written over here. So this are my label index, and here its value is three, four, five over here. Now what I simply want to do is I I want to concatenate this thing. So what I am simply going to do is instead of printing this uh, this thing, what I can simply do is I am just going to say S E R one concatenation ser2 if i just print this thing so this is how uh, you can just uh, add your two series over here so what has happened over here is that it will simply just match up based upon your index all right so over here you can see this now this a is there so it doesn't uh, didn't find that uh, a index over here so what has it has given that not applicable over here so it has not given you any value over here then in the second case it has find the value okay so based upon the index the operation will be performed so in case of b and b so this 4 plus 2 okay so 4 plus 2 is nothing but 6 okay so it has given you the result as 6 over here in the second uh, in the uh, next case what has happened over here that based upon the index it will perform the operation so your c and c is there so it is 3 plus 3 so it is 6 so again it has given you 6 whereas now in the case of e so it has not uh, 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 it is not having that particular index over here so it has given you this none value over here now, what if I just make this as, uh, say, for example, I just uh, 
want to uh, change up this value so i will just say that let it be my a b and i will just make this as c okay and now you can see that we are going to get the values for all so it has matched uh, uh, done uh, the addition that is 3 plus 1 is 4 then 2 plus 4 is 6 and then uh, 5 plus 3 is 8 okay so the, uh, the point to be noted over here is that if you just perform such a uh, addition of two series all right so based upon this index okay so this uh, values will be added up and if that particular index it is not found out in the another series so for that it will not give any values over here and one more thing over here is that whenever uh, now in the earlier case if i just say control z over here okay so you 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 can see over here that we were getting this uh, floating point numbers okay so in in pandas what will happen that your integer values will be converted into the floating point values okay information in order to just retain all the information as possible over here okay and we are going to explore this more once we just go forward with the data frames and all talking about the series these are the just the important things that uh, that is to be remembered over here so in series we're, what we have seen is like how you can just create the series by different ways so you can just create it via list or you can just create it via array or you can just pass a dictionary okay and in order to just create a series you need to write that pd dot series and inside this you need to pass either the list or you can just pass a dictionary or you can just say array okay you can just pass the array over here and uh, we even saw that how you can just access this elements with the help of this index okay and we have the provision to create this uh, index of our own like we don't have provision in numpy but we have that provision over here in pardas so in series you just have to uh, understand this thing the data and the index over here all right and just uh, uh, when we just concatenate this two uh, uh, series so it just happens with the help of uh, it will just concatenate with the based upon the index val uh, the index values over here okay and uh, this was all about the series over here in the next video we are going to explore this library a bit more but with the help of the uh, the next uh, data structure that is a data frame so see you over there